Now, after plotting the BMD, the next thing will be plotting the SFD, but we must calculate the reactions first. And in this case, we are going to begin with the span AB, taking moments about B. So, this is what we are going to have RA times the distance from uh, A to B. That is a clockwise moment. And remember, when we are taking moments, we must remember that the sum of all the clockwise moments must be equal to the sum of all the anti-clockwise moments. Therefore, RA multiplied by 10, that is a clockwise moment. So we are going to have RA multiplied by the distance from A to B, which is 10 meters, plus the bending moment at B. In this case, those two are clockwise moments, which are going to be equal to the following anti-clockwise moment. The bending moment at A, that is an anti-clockwise moment. Therefore, we are going to add MA plus, between A and B, we have a UDL of 6 kN per meter multiplied by the span over which it is distributed and then it is going to act at the mid of that span. So this is going to give us reaction at A times 10 plus MB, which is 14.29 so 14.29 is equals MA 67.855 67.855 plus this is going to be 600 divided by 2 that is 300 300 so this is going to give us RA times 10 which is going to be equal to uh, this is going to be 367.855 minus bring 14.29 the other side of the equal sign. So we are going to have RA being equal to 367.855 minus 14.29 that is 353, 353.6. Then we divide by this 10 and that is going to give us a reaction at A of 35.36 kilo newtons. So that is the reaction at A. From there we go to the span BC. So for the span B to C, taking moments about B taking moments about B, we are going to get the following. So we get, uh -huh. we are going to have RC times the distance from C to B, which is 7 meters. Therefore, RC times 7, that is an anticlockwise moment, plus MB. In this case, when we are taking moments about B from C, the bending moment at B now changes from being clockwise when you are taking from A to anticlockwise. So we are going to add MB, which is equal to bending moment at C, which in this case is a clockwise moment, bending moment at C. We add this bending moment at D, that is 120 kilo Newton meter. So we add 100 and 120. So this is going to give us, which is also a clockwise moment in this case. So that is RC times 7 plus MB 14.29 is equals MC negative 5.92. Negative 5.92 plus 120. This will be RC times 7 being equal to Minus 5.92 plus 120, that is 114.08, 114.08, then we subtract 14.29. And we are going to get the value of RC being equal to 114.08 minus 14.29, that is 99.79. And then we divide by this 7. And this is going to give us a reaction at C being 14.26 kN.
newtons. So that is the reaction, the reaction at C. To get the reaction at B, we are going to say this. The sum of all the upward acting forces, that is Ra plus Rb plus Rc, must be equal to the sum of all the downward acting forces. And the downward acting forces, we only have this 6 kN per meter UDM, multiply by the span over which it is distributed, that is 10, to convert it to point load. So this is going to be Ra 35.36 plus Rb plus Rc, which is 14.26 being equal to 60. And the reaction at B is going to be 60 minus, when we add this to, we are going to get 49.62, 49.62. And when we subtract the 2, 60 minus 49.62, that is going to give us a reaction at B, a reaction of 10.38 kilo newtons. Therefore, that is the reaction at B. And we are going to write our reactions uh, on the loaded diagram. Ra 35.36 kilo newtons. Rb 10.38 kilo newtons and RC 14.26 kilo newtons. So those are the reactions. And the last thing we are going to do, not the last thing, the second last thing is to calculate the shear forces. So we go to SF calculations. Shear forces calculations SF calculations and in this case we are going to be given the shear force between C and B therefore shear force between C and B that is going to be equivalent to this reaction at C which is 14.26 so that is 14.26 Kilo newtons. Then we go to the shear force at B, at the support B. That is going to be 14.26. Then we add the shear force, I mean the reaction at B, which is 10.38. So we add 10.38. And that's going to give us a shear force of 24.64. So we get 2.4. 0.64 kilo neutrons reaction at I mean shear force at B. From there we go to shear force between B and A, and it is going to change uniformly from 24.64 to 24.64 minus the UDL BD B to A convert it to point zero. That is going to be six times ten, which is sixty, and the shear force between B and A is going to be 24.64 minus 60, that is negative 35.36 kilo newtons. Finally, we are going to calculate the shear force at A, and it is equivalent to the shear force between B and A, that is negative 35.36 kilo newtons. So that is how we calculate the shear forces and we are going to use them to plot the shear force diagram. In this form, shear force between uh, C and B is 14.26. So 14.26, let's say it's approximately that point. So all the way to B. So this is uh, 1426 kilo newtons then the shear force at B 24.64 let it be somewhere here so you got 24.64 kilo newtons that is the shear force at B shear force at B 
The MH shear force between B and A is going to change uniformly from 24.26 kilo newtons all the way to 35.36. Let's assume is at that point. So we are going to join 24.64 all the way to 35. We write it here. So the value of that shear force there is 35.36 kilo newtons. Likewise, to the shear force at the shear force at A. Therefore, this is a negative shear force. That is a positive shear force. The whole of that positive shear force. Then finally, we are going to a shade of the outline of our shear force diagram to make it clear, visible, and smart. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how we plot a shear force diagram for such a beam which have got a clockwise moment at a span. And therefore, thank you very much for watching our video. Please remember to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that Whenever we record a video like this one and we upload it, you will be notified. So let's meet in yet another lesson.